Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video here on the channel and today, now as you can see in the distance, I'm currently in a battle lab. Over in the distance, over there in the water, you can see two things sticking up with something in the middle. Galactus is coming and he's pretty big in game. So we're uh, getting fairly close to that event next Tuesday. Only one week left to go. Uh, we'll be live streaming that here on the channel for you guys to watch it live or to discuss it live. Um, will we get a black hole? I'm still saying so. So there you go, there's the timer, seven days, six hours. If you go to the battle pass tab, seven days, six hours, you can see Galactus is coming up over time there. And if you look in the back right underneath the Wolverine screen, you can also see him coming up there. Galactus is coming. And if we have a look as well, he's even in the news tab. Devourer of Worlds, he hungers for the zero point. He arrives Tuesday, December 1st at 4pm Eastern Time, which is 9pm here in the UK. The actual event will kick off 10 minutes after that time. They do suggest you get in at least half an hour earlier, because, as usual, it's going to be a well-watched event. Uh, how long of a break are we looking at? Possibly a day and a half. However... That's not the purpose of this video. Creative Showcase is something that they're doing recently where we can actually trial creative game modes that people have made and you can actually play them. The current one is called Money Wars. Now, those of you that like Minecraft, I personally don't, but uh, I've heard it is a bit like Minecraft Bed Wars. So if you've played that, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, we're going to have a good look at it now because all in all, it's a game mode that I'm quite enjoying playing. Very, very fun. Um, the gold is in the centre. There's brick around the edge. There's eight beds all together. Each team gets their own bed. As you can see, the game hasn't started yet. But you can see there the brick podiums. And you can see the gold as well in the centre. So we are... Oh, okay. We are... A. So, starters, you've got to get yourself up to that tier one. Get that generator ticking over. Um, you do get a six shooter at the start. What I'm going to do just for basics is a little defense. It's not much, but for now, just get up some defensive capabilities. Ah, uh, can't build too far back, it would seem. Right, we've got that lovely stone podium there that's going to be quite tempting to go for. Got that guy over there who's going to uh, definitely be trying for some stuff. Objective Y has already been damaged badly. We're just going to carry on farming up some wood for now. Um, what do I need for tier 2? I need 50 stone. Thought I did. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to use this wood that I've got to build our way all the way over to here where we can collect some stone. That should be enough, actually. Yeah, that's 85 stone. Collect that, run it back. If we get killed, we do lose everything that we are holding, so we've got to be very careful on that one. But there we go. First in the map to get to tier 2. So we're now generating stone over time as well. We've unlocked the stone shop. So yeah, you do get all these mini vendor machines that you can use. You also get the materials trader. So you can like trade 100 wood to get 20 stone. Obviously stone is going to be better for you. Um, all in all, it is a very fun game mode. I'm going to start pushing in on this guy, I think. Ooh, he almost went crashing down. Yes, let's force him to spend his stone on defense. Out of ammo. Oh dear. Blah. Right, we've got wooden stone to collect a fair amount of it as well. Need to st slowly but surely start getting some gold up. Oh, 
Alright. That's him down. Alright, that's the bed taking damage. He will come back to life very shortly. Yeah. Alright, he's down to quite low health there. Got him quite hard there. He's not going to like that at all. We spawn back in. A lot more materials. Um, honestly, I want to get this guy out and I want to get him out quick. So what I might do is go in with that pistol again. Getting him down very weak. And that's why he's pre that's why he's pressuring me because I'm pressuring him so hard. Team W has upgraded to tier three. See, I'm not focusing on tier three yet. I'm not focusing on any further advancements until we get this guy out. And I want to get that out very quickly. Alright, let's get him out. Zed is now out. He's out of the game completely. We can keep coming and robbing his loot. He's out of the game now. So he cannot come back to kill us. We've also gotten 15 gold from killing him. Team Wise lost their bed. This is good. This is very, very good. Tier 3. As you can see, that upgrades your pistol as well. We're now generating gold over time, and we've unlocked the gold shop. 50 gold gets you the mythic goldfish, which is quite cool. The island boost as well. Team D is out. Right. So now it's just a case of trying to farm up gold. And then what you spend that on... Is your choice. I'm probably gonna try, gonna try and get the mythic goldfish. I think. Put him dead. I want to take his bed out from a distance. Ah, uh, out of bullets, out of bullets. Not good. Retreat. Retreat. I do need to try and strengthen up the bridges a little bit so we can't get shot out. Oh, all this lovely loot that we come back to. Beautiful. Alright, we're going to get the damage invaders. So anyone that comes and tries to uh, destroy us now, they're going to take damage when they get close. Good way of getting them out. Alright, there's the pistol upgrade. Going to get a little bit more ammo as well if I'm going to invade this guy. I kind of want to get him out of the picture completely. That might be too much to ask. Hmm. I'm going to try and push in, I think. Oh, nice. Right, if we come in with that pickaxe, we've got about seven seconds till he respawns, but in that time I can easily get a lot of damage on this bed. 1376. He's less than half health. We'll go back in and finish him off in a minute. I'm playing this very aggressively, and I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's the way I'm playing this. I'm playing I'm playing to kill. All right, I want to get I want to get some more gold. I want to add that shield barrier. All 
Oh, you're taking damage over time, mate. You can't sustain this. That's what I thought. All right. Need to get up the uh, shield barrier. That's what we needed. This guy's really not playing very smart. He's letting me get too much damage on him. I'm gonna get him out of the game in a second. And when I do, <laughs> the satisfaction's gonna be brilliant. Right. When I say we're getting him out, I mean we are getting him out of the game. No more of his shenanigans. I want him gone. I want him dead. And I'm going to have him dead. There we go. That's his bed down. Easy peasy. Alright, just got to kill him now. And that shouldn't be too hard. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Thank you very much. Alright, we now head back over to mine. I grab some of this stone along the way. 60 stone. Playing very, very aggressive, but it's working out well for us. We're at 10 minutes, so we're halfway through. If you get to 20 minutes, you do go to sudden death, which means everyone's beds are completely destroyed. Alright, that's some more gold. It's a mythic goldfish that I can get now. You know what we're going to do just that. Mythic goldfish. Love to see it. Alright, I need to try and get even more aggressive and actually take another person out. Best person to take out is... Well, the people that I've got to take out are the ones with the red beams. This guy over here has a lot of loot ready for us to claim. Oh, over a thousand wood. Just repeatedly get some stone. Get ourselves some a lovely stick of dynamite. See that guy over there? By the person that we recently killed. Go and wipe him out. Swipe him off the face of the planet. Gotta hope we don't die though, seeing as we do have that mythic goldfish. Can use however many resources I want. We both tried with the mythic goldfish, we both missed. Great. He just landed in the water there. So I can't even grab it and use his one against him. He can grab mine and use it against me. Oh dear. Dynamite is definitely helpful. Like, I didn't quite expect that to work. But it worked very well. So I might have to use dynamite. No, we're just going to build an express route. Save us having to go through the stone barrier to get to this guy's stuff. 
take out a full of walls. It's quicker. We're going in with another dynamite. But this time I'm also going to go in with some shields. That way it's harder for him to kill us. I think shields and stuff actually like count for... Yeah, your quick challenges do count in this. So that's an interesting point to notice. Too high to build. Uh... Okay, alright, let's just drop that dynamite on him, right there, and then unleash may mayhem on that bed of his. He tried to hit us with the goldfish, and failed. Close range pistol combat is not my thing. Those dynamite definitely help. Ooh, so he might have found a sneaky way forward. Might have also just gotten a lovely level 226. Ah, every 15 minutes you play in this is a 15 minute creative. Just 6.3 thousand XP. That is lovely. I'm going to go straight back over to mine where I'm going to grab some more materials. Possibly grab another mini. I want a second dynamite. Two sticks of dynamite could wipe this guy out. And when I say wipe him out, I'm not even kidding. Right, we've got the sudden death timer now. When sudden death comes, we need to be ready. So in about, about two minutes before... Sudden death, I need to sort of stop what I'm doing. Focus on getting the gold. Focus on getting the stone. Get the best weapons I can. Bottle rockets. 500 stone. Never really thought of bottle rockets before. Guess they actually would be quite effective, wouldn't they? I'm gonna hang around here and get a little bit of stone. And I'm gonna bottle rock it and then double dynamite him. The sort of power that I'm gonna throw into this attack. If it doesn't kill him, I'll be in a spot of bother, but but I don't see why it wouldn't kill him. Like, what I'm coming in with is powerful. It's destructive, and he definitely won't be expecting it. He's expecting another dynamite attack. He's not going to be expecting two dynamites, and he's definitely not going to be expecting the bottle rockets. But he's possibly going to expect something more powerful than last time, seeing as I do have... Somewhat of a, uh, shall we say, I've, had, I've spent longer on this attack. That's Team C bed gone. Yes, that's right, mate. I've got you where I want you now. <laughs> he's on his last life. Someone kills him, he's out. There's only two beds left, uh, two other beds left to kill. And I'm not going to be killing any of them. They can all fight out however they want to. <sighs> How I want to finish this, I do not actually know, to be honest. For now. We'll go straight in. Straight over to that guy there. Those two people have still got beds. I mean, no one's going to have a bed very soon, but it's beside the point. 
need to get them out of the picture before sudden death if I can. Sudden death is going to favour them too much. I don't like my chances if I do go to a sudden death. That's the exposure I needed. That's X out. <laughs> well, I need to build out of wood because sort of resources I need is the stone really and gold gold is going to be greatly appreciated I need to be as quick as I can I have to go and buy stuff get ready for, and then sudden death it might end up being literally a 1v1 for sudden death but rather being a 1v1 than a, anything else if I'm honest I need to get back over to my base because what I'm also going to do is I'm going to activate a couple of those boosts. I want the attack boost. So that's damage boost. Doing extra damage for the remainder of this life. All beds have been destroyed. I need some more gold. If I want that mythic, if I want to attempt the mythic goldfish kill. Need the gold to get it. There we go. Buy a slurp fish. Let's get a couple of minis. Let's get a dynamite as well. Killing this last person needs to be executed flawlessly. Room for mistakes is not there. Right. We'll go in with some uh, uh need the things. No. 50 damage for the store. That's madness. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have continued. Well, with that in mind, guys, that's the end of the video. So, that is Bed Wars in Fortnite, aka Money Wars. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I enjoy playing this. So, I'm um, just watching the end of this, to be honest. There you go. So that's how you win, obviously, get to the end. I mean, I came second, apparently. I eliminated eight people. But, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you do camp on those spots with the stone and gold, obviously, they are camping spots. You're going to have people camp there. If you do camp there, you're going to take damage over time. So, please be one so with that in mind i know it's a longer video but um i quite enjoyed making it i hope you guys enjoy watching it so i'll see you all in the next one